up YouTube welcome to today's episode today I'm gonna to be showing y'all how to become a demon slayer and this is going to be a full guide so stick through the whole video because I'll most likely be answering your questions in today's video so before we get started I'm gonna go over how to even become a demon slayer okay so the way you want to become a demon slayer I'll show you how the easiest way to get to all these points so we're gonna go ahead and respawn until I get to a certain location. I will show you all the location when I get there. So this is this is the location, right? This is the location that you wanna spawn in. You're gonna spawn in this house in the city, okay? You're gonna want you're gonna see these guys, right? You're gonna see uh the leader of the demon slayer corpse and this this dude. You're gonna wanna um you're gonna wanna walk to him and uh oh shoot. You're gonna wanna walk to him and then walk down. So, after you see them, after you've seen them over there, you're gonna walk down. Uh, damn, bro, I don't know what the hell's going on. Uh, you're gonna walk down here, and you're gonna register for the Demon Slayer course. Okay, so you're gonna. I've already signed up for it, so I'm not gonna click it. But like, you're gonna sign up for the Demon Slayer course. You're gonna push sure, whatever, whatever, yada yada yada, and um, yeah. So, um, now that you sign up for the Demon Slayer Corpse, I'm gonna show you the easiest way to get to the rock, okay? So, um, the rock, the or boulder, I mean, is what you're going to use to, you're gonna have to break it. And it takes about, what, it takes about two to seven minutes of just, like, constantly slashing it. It didn't take me too long, but it might, it might, you know, it varies for person, you know. So anyways, we're gonna reset until we get to the snow biome and it's going to be a, a specific kind of part in the snow biome we have to get to so if you spawn uh right here you'll see a double segmented rock and you'll sp you're supposed to spawn right here if you do spawn right here this is where you'll be able to uh you'll, you'll, you'll be in the second half of the map where most of the good stuff is so in this second half of the map you have final selection all the cool swords that you can buy you have the boulders you have the lightning teacher, you have the sound teacher, and you have uh, the mist teacher, I believe. Teacher, I believe. Um, the flame teacher is going to be right over there. Um, he's going to get. He's gonna be on the other side of the uh, island. So anyways, um, uh, I'm going to teach y'all how to get to the boulder. So you're just going to want to walk down here. I'm just going to walk forward. From you see where we came from, that little do double segmented rock. You're gonna walk forward, and here's a cool trick that I taught me, me and my brother were uh, working on yesterday. So I probably won't need it for this, but like for high walls, there's a special kind of way you can like scale them. So you can here that that was not a good uh, good sh a way to show, but I'll show you guys um, on another wall. So this wall. You have to get over this wall to get to the boulders. The boulders are literally sitting right there. So if you want to get up there, you know, you're going to have to, you know, jump. And, you know, obviously you can't just spam jump up. That's not how it works. So the best way to do it is um, do side, um, side jump. So you're going to go ahead, jump from this wall, jump to that wall. And you'll be using Q on every second jump. So um, on every second jump, you're gonna use Q to dash back onto the wall. Um, you don't have to; it'll work without the Q, but I feel like it makes us get up there uh, a lot easier. Uh, so yeah. Um. So now here's the boulder. Um, once you do, I think once you've progressed far enough, far enough in the game, you'll be able to one hit these. Um, let me actually fix my uh my loadout. Oh fudge. Let me fix my loadout. Um, yeah, so, and by the way, I have uh, the new breathing. I have snake breathing, so, yeah, I'll be showcasing that soon. Uh, let's see. Okay, so, uh, this is, I can just one-hit it, but for y'all, it's going to take a longer time. So, now that you've gotten to the boulders, you know where it is. You're going to have to, um, you're going to have to, uh... You're gonna have to break it pretty much. It'll take about like two to six minutes, two to seven minutes. I don't know, it's different for everyone. And uh, yeah. So I'm gonna show y'all how to get to final selection because that's actually the second step. And if you haven't watched my uh, how to get to final selection in Demon Journey, you can, you know, just go ahead and watch that. 
or you can skip ahead. But uh, I'm pretty much just gonna be uh, going quick. I'm gonna I'm gonna go get uh, get to final selection quick. You know, since I already made a whole video on it. So pretty much want to get to the same spawn we just got to to get to the boulders. Okay, so now we're here at the spawn. Yeah, I don't know why. Like people usually get glitched when they spawn here. I don't know why. Um, okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and uh, walk over here to where final selection is. Follow me closely. If you if you fall into this little ravine over here, that means you're going the right way. Um, so. so, and another way to know is that if you uh, see the wisteria trees. So these are the wisteria trees, and. Uh, um, now you're here and you see the guy. Also, by the way, let me just tell, show y'all. I'm a pseudo. I, I just got my um my Slayer mark. I'll also be making a video on how to get your Slayer mark because I know a lot of people don't know where the where to find the spawns. And I know uh I think I know I know I know all three spawns. So stay tuned for that video as well. So now we're at the Demon Slayer guy. Click on him. You know, say I will. Um. So you're gonna participate. You're gonna wait about um 15 minutes but in the game it's three days you're gonna have to wait that long and uh you don't have to kill demons you could just camp if you want but if you do if you if you do decide to camp and you don't want to actually like kill demons it's gonna take longer not because like you know it's like it actually take like it actually takes longer but it kind of feels like it takes longer so i just suggest you know if you get bored easily to just you know you know, actually try and kill some zombies. They're, I mean, not zombies. <laughs> Demons. They're not that hard, so, I mean, I, I would say give it a go. So, um, okay. So, now that, um, you've gotten, you've gotten, you know, you became a demon slayer, okay? Um, I'm gonna show you guys the different sources you can get. Um, also, if you guys want me to show y'all all the locations for each breathing, let me know. I'm not gonna put it in this video because uh, I don't feel like it. But um, in the next, if if y'all want this video, just comment down below. So um, anyways, we're gonna be going from final selection over here to this village. So there's a village right here, and if you just keep walking over here, you're gonna you're gonna come across a little village of the sword makers so these are all just different sword sword crafters and uh you can always buy a nature in here but i suggest yeah yeah i suggest starting off with a nature you can always pick up that free blade when you first start the game but you can always come to this pink faced guy and he'll give you a nature for just about a hundred uh yen which is actually the amount you spawn in with so i suggest you buying an Ichirin with that 100, then grinding up some money. Oh, and one tip, one tip for final selection is that um, make sure that if you're not going to actually farm demons, or you're not sure if you can kill enough, make sure you come into final selection with at least 200 yen, so you'll be able to pick up the Demon Slayer clothing and the Ichirin blade if you haven't gotten it yet. That's a, a huge tip that I forgot to give y'all. Because I went in there and I spent my money on ramen before going in, so I had like 90 yen. So I couldn't buy anything, so I had to, like, redo Final Selection all over again. So, yeah. Um, anyways, so, so this is the normal seller. You're going to want to go over here. Uh, for let, Let's see if you want to get the moon, the moon sword, like, which is what I have. This is the Upper Moon One, uh, Upper Moon One's, uh, sword. Uh, he sells it. I don't know why he's the one who sells it. I don't know. I haven't watched the manga, so I don't know, but, uh. It's kind of weird that he's the one that sells it to me, to be honest. I thought it'd be like like a demon or something. Um, and then you're going to want to walk through here. Uh, this guy will actually sell you Beast of Breathing. He's near these like little crop islands. I mean, not Beast of Breathing. I'm sorry. The Beast, the Devil Katana thingy. So, um, yeah, he'll give you the dual wields. And if you actually go behind him, I believe... If you go behind him, you'll see the insect katana seller. So he'll sell you the insect katanas. So that's how you become a demon slayer, and that's how you buy new katanas. Um, I'm gonna be dropping another video recent, um, you know, you know, right after this. It's gonna be how to make a lot of money in this game. I'll be showing you the best tips on how to, you know, grind up the money as fast as possible, 
and I'll be showing y'all the secret uh, spawn. I'll, sh I'll be showing y'all where snakes spawn, so stay tuned. Anyways, guys, I will see y'all in another video. Peace out.